servers. Oh, yes, absolutely. The faster the technology improves, the better product we can bring into the market. And so the industry can provide better service to the people around the world. So it's a great challenge, and we enjoy that. That's good to hear. Now, you were speaking in a Taipei just last week, a targeting market share of 20 to 30 percent by next year. Your liquid cooling systems, as well as this huge demand for artificial intelligence, will help to bring you there. But effectively, you are doubling your market share. How are you going to achieve this? <laughs> okay, my product, better product. People deserve the fastest, the most reliable, the environmental friendly product like liquid cooling you just mentioned. Liquid cooling indeed is not new, have been in the market for 30 years, but the market share always less than 1%. And our goal is to make a new deployment in the next 12 months. Liquid cooling hopefully can grow to 15%, one five. So grow from 1% to 15%. That's our mission. We try to make it happen. Because liquid cooling provides more power efficient solution to the world, so better performance and less pollution, less energy cost. So that's great win-win-win for everyone. Are you able to share with us some of these developments that you're seeing and that you're making in the liquid cooling? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we spent uh, in the last two to three years, thousands of engineers work day and night just to make liquid cooling more reliable, easy to install, high volume production, lower the cost, and fast time to market. Easy for maintenance, easy for deployment. That's our goal. And very fortunately, we achieve all the challenge I just mentioned. So we are in volume production since last month. So how, what do you think the take-up is going to be like? Uh, how people are going to switch over or companies are going to switch over from air cooling to liquid cooling? For sure, uh, air cooling will continue to grow in the next many, many years. But liquid cooling, because uh, uh, better cooling, lower cost, less pollution. So we believe the market share for liquid cooling will grow from less than 1% to hopefully 15% within one year, and hopefully 20 to 30% next year. And we, I hope, will be the major leader. And that's why I believe our growth will continue to grow very fast in the coming years. As, we, as we've been here the last couple of days, we've been reminded that Taiwan really is the epicenter of artificial intelligence, of the supply hardware. You've said expanding in Taiwan is something that you want to do with a choice investment, but as long as the timing is right. Yes. Is that timing right now? <laughs> yes. Indeed, we are growing in USA as well. In Silicon Valley, recently, we just added two more campuses. One in Sengose downtown, one a little bit far away from Sengose downtown. So we, have, we added two new campuses in Sengose. And in Taiwan, we continue to grow. So here, you know, a lot of talent people, hardware, now even software and platform. So we are growing quickly in Taiwan, and we are growing to Malaysia as well. You're also, in addition to Malaysia, you're also going to Japan and Europe. Why are you going to Malaysia, and what's happening over in Japan? <laughs> okay, Malaysia, you know, they are... Uh, industry friendly, uh, energy cost is lower, and lots of uh, good quality manpower. So that's why we have to go to Malaysia. And from Malaysia, we can support uh, uh, South Asia, Europe much more efficiently. In Japan, we can have a more uh, good customer, good size customer, especially AI data center customer. So we are planning to have a facility in Japan uh, very soon as well.